Do you believe that tomorrow is going to be better than today? I'm uh, spending this week with 175 Chinese uh, coaching students. We're working virtually across five cities, um, training coaches. And uh, it's, 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 it's one five-day um, workshop of three across the next nine months. And it's been a fascinating sneak peek into a different culture. Um, and the divide couldn't be greater. So we have to work with a translator. There is the virtual component, which is always difficult. There's the numbers of people involved, which provides a challenge. And then there's the broader context, which is they are sitting in a very, very different political and cultural environment to us. And what I've noticed is the eagerness and the optimism and the, the sense of fun and play in these people. The, 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 there's a strong sense that this country is in its ascendance and that tomorrow will be better than today. And it really inspires me. It excites me. It also saddens me and makes me pause um, for what we may have lost in the West. I don't know if that's too much of a generalization, but it certainly feels experiencing these people and spending time with these people that um, there's something that I remember um, and, 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 and miss, actually. So I guess my thought for the day is the difference, you know, the distance can actually provide great perspective as these lovely Chinese people have for me this week. Have a great week and I'll speak to you next week.